Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Startup Company, the Perfect Start 2021, Part 7. Okay, so here we are. We're back with our company, Pandemic Gaming Limited. Uh, just having a look. We're making money. That's always good. Uh, what I will be doing is skipping forwards for the unnecessary part. So, as always, contract management, uh, fairly important uh, part of your day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, see, we're at 1.6 million there for a 1.1 million contract. Uh, so that 1.4 there, although the CPM is uh, much lower. It's all about the CPM. Okay, stupid Monday. Fair enough. Okay, anyway, so going back, what we're also going to be doing uh, today is upgrading the server room with the intermediate equipment and adding a lot of intermediate skills to our staff to be able to start putting in better features and uh, better uh everything basically uh, right okay let's have a look seven hour workday expert desk okay so change upgrade there we go keep them happy okay let's skip forwards okay so hosting we are currently um, at 30,800 CU and uh, we're kept peaking out at 27,000 so it's about time for us to start upgrading the equipment that we've got so there's a tall rack we can put that in uh, something that you can also do is upgrade your existing racks rather than putting in new racks. But add device, okay, so confirm. Well, we don't really want the uh, basic one, so let's go back to research, go to hosting, go to the server pack 2. This allows us to uh, put in much beefier equipment. Okay, so there we go. Add device, and we've got a 2U web server, a 2U cache server, and a 2U database server. Now at 30,000 a pop rather than 10K, but we also have rack coolers. Okay, so those rack coolers bring that temperature down. If you remember in the last video, I was talking about how hot some of our units were getting. Uh, for that, we're gonna need process management and cron jobs. Ah, uh, good old cron jobs. Anyone that works in uh, IT in any way, shape or form will know what cron jobs are. Okay, so we need the intermediate sys admin kit. Uh, so we're going to need to unlock that. Uh, we need that for the components that are needed to configure these beefier uh, blades sitting in our towers. Okay, for that we will also need intermediate um, staff as well. So he's already there for his development. Now what we can do is he's being currently controlled by me as the CEO. So what we're also going to need to do is change our production plans because our production plans are now going to take into account the additional kit and technology that we need and the additional components for us to be able to upgrade everything in the way that we want to. So process management, continuous integration and cron job. Funny thing is continuous integration is something that I do in day-to-day uh, -day life in my real world job, CICD pipelines. Okay, so put in some additional desks because we're gonna need to get some additional sysadmins because the one person's probably not going to be enough now. Okay, and we'll need to give that person a desk. So we need to obviously find someone to hire first. Uh, so we go to me, we uh, change my role back to recruiters because we don't have any recruiters yet. And we want a sysadmin we want intermediate let's get the salary expectation and also their demands and uh, off we go okay so we still need these components so he's building a continuous integration at the moment uh, we're also going to need those cron jobs uh, we'll get rid of the uh, minimum stuff so uh, yep get rid of get rid of Okay, there we go, because look how many parts we've got. See, we've got 150, 150, and 169 of the basic components. So we've got plenty in stock, so they say. Okay, headhunting is going on. Let's speed things up. Okay, 94%, not bad. Okay, with management, of course, that will go up. 108%, 8,000. Let's give it an instant higher. There we go. Okay, let's sit this person down. So Ernest Joseph, uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Just set them off building components and they will knock those out for us at a fair rate of knots. Some of the components are fairly quick to build, others not so much. Uh, now, let's see, we put a rack cooler in there. Yep, let's bring the temperature down a little bit. And again, this one as well. 
there we go add a small rat cooler there we go and the other one that is full but what we can do uh, is see there in the top right hand corner was the upgrade button there okay so upgrade and we'll upgrade it to a tall rack uh, don't have to do it right now but what we can do is we can upgrade all of them to uh, tall racks and it will give more space and we will be able to swap out remove components um, so there we go upgrade now a cooler that's it bring that temperature down go back again we can then upgrade it as well once we've unlocked the uh, the next equipment okay now can we configure these yet yes we can okay so configure and go to the next one configure yep we can okay so configure and actually let's have a look where our bottleneck is it's on database at the moment so let's configure the database okay we've now got no bottlenecks and we've got 39,900 computing units uh, and we can come back let's oh, no nah, let's see ah uh, no we don't have enough components yet we need more cron jobs okay so they need to be made by our sys admins but in the meantime uh, we do have an additional computing capacity now uh, right have we got enough yet no still no okay oh there we go right configure there we go now we have another web server now we have a web server uh, bottleneck so we need to add a device and let's add a web server for twenty five thousand dollars and again can we configure it yet no because we're waiting for that cron job to be made okay let's head back to the office see what we're all doing okay hosting how are we doing so the peak CU is now 29,677 with a total CU of 39,900 which means we're in an okay position from our computing unit capacity and our response times are very healthy uh, let's go back to uh, change role for me let's go back to uh, manager okay and let's select our employees that we want to manage there we go that chap as well okay and uh, print an admin yep that'll do that was the production plan okay right go back in have a look okay can we configure now yes we can okay so now we've got a database uh, bottleneck again so we're going to need to add another device so we need another database server okay can we configure it yet yes we can now we've got a web server bottleneck this is a continuous journey uh, we're up to 49,000 CU now um, so does it really matter that we've got the bottleneck not massively at the moment uh, but we may want to add that additional web server um, so yeah go on let's add it and go in and configure and there we go we're now stable at 56,000 computing units nearly double where we were but we're now down to 6,395 a day nowhere near that target of 40k this is a much harder milestone to reach uh, than some of the earlier ones because you're balancing your need for your features and for everything that you're currently doing um, and trying to make money at the same time so it's all a balancing act there's no rush uh, to get there there really isn't um, it's just a case of it's a, it would be a nice to have kind of thing to then get on to the next milestone right let's get that done and what we'll do is we'll skip forwards again that's auto renewed lovely okay skipping forwards although that was seamless you wouldn't know that I'd just skip forwards but within the city uh, these are the other offices and everything else that you have access to of course so 10 ocean view downtown but on top of that so this is where we are at the moment uh, 3 Harbour Street but we could go for a new office that's 22k a month that's going to bring our money down but what you also have is a fusion power plant project so you've got a daily budget of 400k to 1.6 million so clearly we're nowhere near there yet uh, as well as the fusion power plant you have some tidal power so again this is another project that you can do now each one of these so access to fusion servers and fusion heat transformers so each one has its benefit benefits so space-based solar power upfront payment of 1.2 million attract superstar employees so because you're working on this kind of stuff you get you know the best employees that you can get 
uh, your data hosting as well obviously we're in the tiny building at the moment uh, the initial temperature of 15 degrees for the next one but it costs 6,000 a month so we don't need it just yet but obviously you want better hosting facilities as you develop we're okay for computing power at the moment we're okay for our office space for the moment and we're certainly not at the point where we're going to be able to do any development projects okay so let's skip forward again uh, so online we've got as you can see we've got lots of people online now and uh, we're doing extremely well CU's already up to 36k we're at 84% of our user base so 1.4 million users it's time to start upgrading features so we'll upgrade that by five in one go uh, go back to here again upgrade by five in one go that's it go back um, now we're at max feature level of 60 uh, which means we're going to need to upgrade our platform as well so we're going to need to upgrade the platform so go to our frameworks and we're going to need to do Qt Framework 2.0 big difference here is you can have six features so unlock and then once we've unlocked it what we will do the licensing is 300k which is fine price per user is a little bit higher uh, than it was uh, for the previous iterations and as you can see it goes up and up and up and up but the maximum feature level of that is a thousand and the maximum feature level of the Qt Framework 2.0 is 500 so you can see there's going to be a significant period of time uh, between upgrading to this and then upgrading to the next platform so Qt Framework 2.0 300k initial cost install confirm and there we go we now have paid 300k and we are at the Qt Framework 2.0 so we now have the ability to add three additional features to our pandemic gaming site so let's have a look what are we thinking in the terms of features sharing functionality offline profile page subscriptions now subscriptions is going to get you uh, money uh, because you're going to force people to uh, pay to join video ads again is another revenue um, a revenue bringer sharing functionality offline content profile page so you know it depends on what you want to do personally this is a point where in these videos I would say it's your choice uh, more than just copying exactly what I'm doing uh, depending on what you want to do with your site and with your company if you want to follow exactly as I'm doing feel free to do so I have no issues with that of course this is how it's worked within my experience but it's not to say that it's the only way of going so we've unlocked the intermediate lead developer kit and the intermediate designer kit because we're going to need those uh, for the features when we unlock them and of course the other thing you'll be well aware of back from the beginning of this video series is if your features have massively different levels compared to uh, the others you will get a sad face for them luckily because we've already got two existing features in balance you can have a third feature added that doesn't quite match and you don't lose too much enjoyment from your site and what you can then do is level it up level it up level it up level it up until it gets to the same level as the rest of the site and leave everything else where it is and then all level it all up together again until you have six features okay so what we're doing at the moment is we're doing training we're starting training stopping training bringing our staffing levels up so making sure everyone is intermediate uh, and then again ad advanced going forwards uh, so expert users um, but at the moment we need to also add our different components so semantic uh, components SMTP components encryption components and file system components uh, so we need to add all of those to our list for our production plan to make sure that they are made because they will be needed you need UI sets and responsive UI sets uh, so we'll add those as well input module storage module content management modules are all the basics but your SEO email database layer and notification modules are all your intermediates uh, so you want to get those added as well uh, marketing so obviously that stays pretty much as it was because we haven't locked, unlocked anything else and also this isn't part of that production plan but we will add everything anyway um, because you will need stuff so it uses an SMT component see all of this stuff is now recipes basically of different components being put together uh, to build the components that you need so if you hit any bottlenecks uh, it's now time to be checking on a fairly regular basis if you've got any members of staff sitting there idling uh, you'll see it flashing underneath them 
and then checking why. And it will normally be because the components that they need to be able to build the component that they're currently got in their plan hasn't been made. And if that's the case, you need to check your production plans, you need to manage those, and you need to refine the process and the order of the components to make sure that everything's coming together as you need it. So you don't hit any bottlenecks, ideally. Okay, uh, going along, uh, as these are all the different bits that we've unlocked. So you've then got expert, expert, expert. You've got intermediate marketing kit um, and expert marketing and expert sysadmin. But the intermediate marketing is for your, um, well, for your marketing. It's for your email tra campaigns, your messaging campaigns, your video campaigns, or your TV adverts, as an example, when you start splurging the big bucks. Now, features we were talking about. So what do we want? Offline content, profile page. I mean, a profile page is quite a good one, isn't it? That's used, think of Steam. You've got a profile page, um, you know, what we're playing this through. Uh, DDoS protection, there's another good one. Uh, that will be for when you get those lovely DDoS attacks. Help system. I mean, look at the components needed for each level of that. So looking around, um, you've got the profile page so that needs a huge bunch of components as well uh, but let's unlock the profile page okay now we've already amended our production plan to start including the other components so do we also want offline content do we want sharing functionality item listing I mean that's uh, another fairly basic one only costs 30 RP to unlock that for an item listing. But thinking about it, how often do you sell stuff on something like Steam? We are thinking of a gaming platform, aren't we? So sharing functionality. Okay, now features. We can add the features. So obviously we've already got that and that. So here's our sharing functionality. So we can add feature, but it needs all of these additional components to be able to uh, research it. And a profile page as well. So profile page. Should we add it? Yeah, we can. There's your sad face, because it's level zero. We officially have none of the components yet. Well, we do, we have some of them uh, to be able to upgrade, uh, but we don't have all of them. Add feature, we could add another feature. Uh, people aren't particularly happy with the uh, with that low quality. See, one of, the one of the components there we've now got enough of, uh, but everything else is currently a big fat no. So we have to keep building stuff to be able to upgrade. Okay, right. So that's part of the feature plan, manage production plan, uh, the employees that are being managed. So that'll be our dev team, basically. So let's go and have a look. And what we can do is we can strip out uh, and hit zero on the stuff that we don't need because we've got loads off. I mean, look, we've got 200 UI components, 199 backends, 207 network components, 209 database components, and 211 video components. So let's strip these out for now. And what we will do is we will focus on making the bits that we need. So the semantic components, the SMTP components, the encryption components, and the file system components. Again, the same with the design elements. We can do the same. We can strip out everything that we don't need. But for the uh, lead developers, we'll leave them as they are. Uh, they can make those pieces as needed. That's not a problem. Okay, so print and admin, that's all good. Okay. Again, check on your managers, make sure everyone's managing who they should be and their production plans. Again, this is the design plan. Uh, so we want to add UIs and responsive UIs and may potentially want to strip out the uh, earlier components just so they focus on what they're doing. So we could reduce these or strip them out entirely and that will then get them to build what we want. So highlight, delete, highlight, delete, highlight, delete, highlight, delete. Now they will only make UI sets and responsive UIs and they'll stop making everything else. But we don't want them to all hit zero. Uh, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll adjust the numbers and as you can see, we've already got a UI set and a responsive UI made. So, and that's it. Basically, you keep going through each of these, uh, making sure that your production plans are all making what you need uh, to be able to upgrade your feature levels and continue making money. Don't forget to manage your contracts, manage your advertising, make sure you're bringing in the revenue, 
And as we keep going through, you will see how this company eventually becomes a billion dollar company and uh, rules the world, so to speak. Okay, we'll skip forward a little bit again, just to uh, constantly check and maintain our um, computing units, as you can see. So revenue features as well, and enhancement features, so ad blocker, uh, text ads, banner ads. Obviously at the moment, we've got uh, video ads not researched, so it might be worth researching that, because that brings in a lot more revenue. Uh, but again, it's slightly more annoying for the guys that are using our gaming platform. But go to features, have a look, what's available, and there it is, video ads. You need 2,000 research points to be able to unlock it, and we're at 1,400 at the moment, so we're certainly not going to be unlocking it. Okay, so again, more production plan management, pay some bonuses, make sure people are happy. We've got the revenue to do it. We're up to 1.6 million already, for goodness sake. Uh, but reaching that daily target of 40K, as I said, is a challenge. But for today's video, I would say we're nearly there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I do hope you're loving this series as much as I am making it. Uh, this is a great game. I do love playing it. I think I've su poor, sunk at least 70 or 80 hours into this game. Um, just for you guys to make sure that you do get the right perfect journey as you go along. Uh, so again, we're upgrading another tower adding the cooling units, bringing down the price, and our data center is now actually starting to look like a nice data center. Uh, once we move it, obviously, to a nicer building than this uh, scrap hole in the middle of nowhere, it will look even nicer. Uh, but until next time, I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 